फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन वॉट इज सी प्लस प्लस सी प्लस प्लस इज अ हाई लेवल जनरल पर्पज प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज डेवलप्ड एज एन एक्सटेंशन ऑफ द सी प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज विद ऑब्जेक्ट ओरिएंटेड प्रोग्रामिंग फीचर्स सेकेंड क्वेश्चन एक्सप्लेन द डिफरेंस बिटवीन सी एंड सी प्लस प्लस C is a procedural programming language whereas C++ supports both procedural and object oriented programming paradigms Question 3 What is the difference between a class and an object a class is a blueprint for objects defining their structure and behavior an object is an instance of a class representing a real world entity fourth question what is encapsulation encapsulation is the bundling of data and methods that operate on the data into a single unit class it restricts direct access to some objects components and prevents accidental modification fifth question explain inheritance in c++ inheritance allows a class to inherit properties and behaviors from another class it promotes code reuse and establishes a relationship between classes sixth question what is polymorphism polymorphism allows objects of different classes to be treated as objects of a common superclass it enables the use of a single interface for a general class of actions seventh question what is abstraction abstraction is the concept of hiding complex implementation details and showing only the necessary features of an object it helps in reducing programming complexity and effort eighth question what is the difference between a pointer and a reference a pointer is a variable that stores the memory address of another variable a reference is an alias for an existing variable ninth question what is a smart pointer smart pointers are objects that that act as pointers but provide automatic memory management they automatically deallocate memory when it is no longer needed preventing memory leaks 10th question what is dynamic memory allocation in c++ dynamic memory allocation refers to the allocation of memory at run time using operators like new for objects and malloc for raw memory 
इलेवेंथ क्वेश्चन एक्सप्लेन द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ आर ए डबल आई रिसोर्स एक्विजिशन इन इनिशियलाइजेशन आर ए डबल आई इज अ सी प्लस प्लस प्रोग्रामिंग टेक्निक वेयर द लाइफ टाइम ऑफ अ रिसोर्स इज टाइड टू द स्कोप ऑफ एन ऑब्जेक्ट रिसोर्स आर एक्वायर्ड इन द कंस्ट्रक्टर एंड रिलीज इन द डिस्ट्रक्टर ट्वेल्थ क्वेश्चन वट इज द एस टी एल द स्टैंडर्ड टैम्पलेट लाइब्रेरी इज अ कलेक्शन ऑफ टैम्पलेट क्लासेज एंड फंक्शन इन सी प्लस प्लस डेट प्रोवाइड्स कॉमन डाटा स्ट्रक्चर्स एंड एलगोरिथम्स फॉर एफिशेंट प्रोग्रामिंग थर्टींथ क्वेश्चन एक्सप्लेन द डिफरेंस बिटवीन वैक्टर एंड लिस्ट इन एस टी एल वैक्टर्स आर डायनेमिक एरेज विद फास्ट रैंडम एक्सेस एंड स्लो इंसर्शन डिलीशन एट द मिडल लिस्ट आर डबल डबली लिंक्ड लिस्ट विद स्लो रैंडम एक्सेस बट फास्ट इंसर्शन डिलीशन एट एनी पोजिशन फोर्टींथ क्वेश्चन वॉट इज एन iterator in c++ an iterator is an object that allows iterating over the elements of a container without exposing the underlying representation 15th question what is exception handling in c++ exception handling is a mechanism to handle runtime errors and abnormal situations in a program it allows the program to gracefully handle handle errors without crashing 16th question explain the try catch and throw keywords try block contains code that might throw an exception catch block handles the exception if it is th- thrown throw keyword is used to explicitly throw an exception 17th question how do you read or write to files in c++ file handling involves using if stream for reading from files and off stream for writing to files 18th question what are templates in c++ templates allow the creation of generic functions and classes that can work with any data type 19th question what is multi threading in c++ multi threading is the concurrent execution of two or more threads threads are lightweight processes that share the same resources but run independently 20th question how do you create a thread in c++ threads are created using the std colon colon thread class 
then 21st question what is the difference between shallow copy and deep copy shallow copy creates a new object but does not duplicate the dynamic memory pointed to by the original object deep copy creates a new object and duplicates the dynamic memory as well then 22nd question what are virtual functions virtual functions allow a functions in a base class to be overridden in a derived class they are used for achieving runtime polymorphism then 23rd question what is the const keyword in c++ const is used to indicate that a variable's value cannot be changed after initialization initialization it can be applied to variables num member functions and pointers twenty fourth question what is operator overloading operator overloading allows defining custom behaviors for operators when used with user defined classes or data types then 25th question what is the difference between struct and class in c++ in struct members are public by default in class members are private by default the only difference between them is the default access level twenty sixth question what is a namespace in c++ a namespace is a named scope that helps avoid naming collisions by by organizing code into logical groups it improves code modularity and readability Twenty seventh question: What is the difference between new and malloc function? New is an operator in C plus plus, whereas malloc is a function in C. New calls the constructor, and malloc does not. then 28th question what is the scope resolution operator means double colon the scope resolution operator is used to define the scope of a class's member functions or static members it is also used to access class level variables 29th question what is the use of the explicit keyword the explicit keyword is used in constructors to prevent implicit type conversion it ensures that a constructor is only called when an object is explicitly created 38th question what is the copy constructor the copy constructor is a special constructor that creates a new object as a copy of an existing object it is used for object initialization by another object 31st question what is the this pointer the this pointer is a pointer 
available in every member functions of a class. It points to the object for which the member function is called. It is used to differentiate class members from parameters with the same name. And 32nd question, what are pure virtual functions? A pure virtual function is a virtual function that is declared in a base class but has no implementation. Derived classes must provide an implementation making them abstract classes. Then 33rd question, what is the type ID operator? The type ID operator allows obtaining the type information of an object at runtime. It returns a reference to a type info object representing the object's type. Then 34th question. What is the ternary operator? The ternary operator is a shorthand way of writing an if-else statement. It evaluates a condition and returns one of two values based on the result of the condition. Then 35th question. What is the standard template library STL algorithm? STL algorithms are reusable functions that can operate on containers like vectors and list. They provide implementations of common operations like sorting, searching, and manipulation elements. Then 36th question, what is the difference between std vector and, and std array? std vector is a dynamic array that can change its size at runtime. std array is a fixed size array whose size is determined at compile time error. Then 37th question, what is a lambda function? A lambda function is an anonymous function that can capture variables from its enclosing scope. It provides a concise way to define short functions. Then 38th question, what is move semantics in C++? Move semantics allow transferring ownership of resources like memory from one object to another without making a copy. It improves performance by avoiding unnecessary deep copies. Then 39th question. What is the std initializer list? std initializer list is a C++ feature that allows initialization of objects with an arbitrary number of elements at once. It is commonly used in constructors. Then 40th question, what are smart pointers in C++? Smart pointers are objects that manage the memory of a dynamically allocated object. They automatically deallocate the memory when it is no longer needed, reducing the risk of memory leaks. Then 41st question, 